Yeah, what's up, everyone? Welcome to your tech and engineering. Uh, thank you so much for showing up. Okay, so for a while now, we've been trying to break electronics down to the various uh, basic uh, level for beginners. Yeah, and we've been looking doing one or two projects so far. Uh, today, uh, I want to really discuss about switch, 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 switch. Uh, switch here, uh, they are very, very important system in a circuit. It's very, very important because uh, in your house, you use switch or your electronics or virtually your device, you switch. Even though the phone, the gadget, we use everything, you switch. You understand now? So uh, what a switch simply do, that is very simple. It's just uh, to be able to close or open a circuit. Simple. Now, for example, uh, let, 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 let me use this as another case study. Uh, let me do it this way. If I have a battery here, now let's assume it's just a 5 volt battery. Now, this is my my terminal. Let's say this is a plus. This is, uh, sorry, this is minus. This is a plus. You understand now? I believe you can see that. Okay. So now, uh, <coughs> Now, let's say we have a bulb here, our LED bulb. Let's assume we have a LED bulb. So, if my positive is here, and my negative will come out, it will come here. So, directly now, if you look at this system now, whenever I put my LED, I use the terminal to touch this battery, it will come up, right? Please try and understand this. I'm trying to break it down as simple as possible. It will what? It will come up. I mind you, as a good electronic system student, it's good you put resistor, you understand, so to resist the flow and also to prevent your battery from wasting and also to make this LED not to overheat over time. So let's assume we have the resistor here, fine. Actually, it's not part of what we are doing today. Okay, we're talking about switch, but just as a way to chip it in. So just put your resistor in between, anything 10 key and 10 key. Okay. All right, that's that about that. Then for your switch now, because now I cannot automate this system then because if I plug, put this terminal connected, now the light will always be off. If I remove it, it will be off, you understand? So I definitely need to be there to do it now. But we can definitely have a switch. I can have a switch here. That is one of this, like, preferably my positive terminal. So let me do it this way now. So if, let's say this is my LED bulb, for example, now. So if this is going to the negative side now, and this is my positive side uh, inside of my battery, so let's say five volt or whatever volt it is. Now instead of this, because once this joins with this, it will work. So we'll have a switch here. Now the way it works is this: one of my terminal will go to the switch, the other will go to the switch too. Because once this side touch each other, it will come up. But these ones are the one that are acting at the switch. So it's the switch is just like this. You understand? Huh? So if I press it, if I apply force here now, for example, what I'm simply trying to do is for this cycle to close. So this will come up and it will touch this. So if that is here now, for example, something is like this so, so if someone is pushing from this or so once you press it and this comes up this area will touch so these two uh, wire will connect so there will be flow of current there do you understand the way it really works now so very very simple like a b c so uh we have different type of switch so to say uh even your normal electricity uh sorry my um, out of light <laughs> just bear with me oh uh, okay uh Okay, okay, let's continue. Let's just wrap it up. Let's finish what we start. So, uh, if you look at this switch here, okay, okay, I believe you can still hear me. Sorry about the outage. So, if you look at the switch I have here, this is a one way switch, just one way. Let's test it. Now, if I pull my meter here, this is here, this is here. You see, let me draw this back. See that there is no sound at all. But if I switch it on now, oh, 
so I've got the four. So it now sanding. So that's the term. So if that wire that is coming from that ball, one is in contact with here, one is in contact with here, it will definitely work that way. You understand now? So whenever I press it to switch off, whenever I press it, it will come out. Do you understand now? So this is for a one-way switch. But when you look at a two-way switch now, so this is my middle. I have one on here, I have one off here. If you look at it here, you can see on, off, on. So 